record. My name is Teresa Bedford. I'm the lead organizer of Don't Shoot Portland. We're an extremely active Black Lives Matter movement here in Oregon. Um, my first thing is that I just want to state what accountability looks like. Um, as a police um, accountability activist, when we came into the opportunity to engage with the city of Portland, our mayor and our commissioners, um, independent police review, and anyone else that stood on the front of public service, uh, we felt like by working with you, by creating dialogue, by attending sessions in Salem and speaking towards the legislation of body cams and working with special prosecutor language with senators that were writing the language, by bringing people out to testify and meet with their legislators and their representatives, and even coming in here, um, having dialogues with Daryl Turner, uh, being active with the co-ed process, promoting it to our community. We thought that those were angles of activity that would show that we were being accountable. My mic is having an issue. So when we get to this situation and we're told that we should have been a part of this six months ago in order to say, you know, credibly that the process needs to be delayed because there hasn't been enough community engagement in regards to the policies that are still watered down. And I'm not saying that um, everything that's in there is not right. I'm saying that there are a lot of people in this community for a very long amount of time that have said that we have issues with community policing. We have already got the MacArthur Red Foundation report that says that there is a problem with over-policing minorities in Multnomah County. Our jails are filled with children in and out of McLaren and uh, Oregon State Penitentiary for very low-level crimes. We are waiving children's FERPA rights just so that they can receive wraparound services through Multnomah County. Those FERPA rights are being waived and their information is shared with different city bureaus. That's causing more over-representation in our criminal justice system for the juveniles. It's causing dysfunction and over-representation in the foster care system for those families that are vulnerable, that live in poverty. And the biggest enforcement tool that we have for all of this is our police. And so if we're saying that the, the humanity of those most vulnerable citizens in this state are being undermined by the law enforcement, the over-representation, the over-policing, and we've managed to organize in a way where we can engage with you. At this point where I'm standing in front of a board that is five people white and I'm black and you know we've been out there saying Black Lives Matter, I don't see that you care. I can't say that at all, that any part of us Trying to engage with people that have power has given us any kind of understanding that safety is a part of the initiatives that you guys are seeking in these new contract negotiations. We have a new mayor elect that is taking office in January. This, this is not even due for signing until June. We're asking you, we've been begging you, we're demanding that you delay it. For the same reasons that Dan Handelman from Portland Cop Watch, from the NAACP, from Basic Rights Oregon, from AMA, and from the ACLU, and any other organization, those statements are valid. We need you to delay this process. Thank you. Thank you very much.